Hi, I'm Sarah Kramer, registered nurse and fitness and intuitive eating coach. How do you stop over exercising? Well, if you are exercising more than you feel like is necessary, then that's your gut telling you that you should probably scale back. The definition of over exercising might look different for different people. And if you're feeling like you have to work out twice a day in order to burn a certain amount of calories, or you feel like you've become obsessed with exercise, this is a great video for you. Exercise can become obsessive and it can become something where it's a punishment for the food that you eat. And it's just a really uncomfortable way in relationship to have with food and exercise and it becomes solely about what your body looks like a lot of times versus a health promoting thing versus it being about your heart and your lungs and your bones and your muscles being strong it just becomes a means of burning calories and we want to enjoy exercise we want exercise to be something that doesn't suck and it's not you know a drag and yeah there are times when we don't always have the motivation to exercise or it's not always our favorite but exercise can be really fun and it can be very enjoyable so if you're finding that you're exercising more than you're truly comfortable with um, or you feel like your exercise sessions are long and you feel like you have to exercise a certain amount every day that is kind of an extended period of time, I encourage you to start scaling back. Maybe that's scaling back five minutes each session. Maybe that's, you know, once you scale back five minutes for a week, you start scaling back 10 minutes a week. And if you're somebody who's exercising, let's say an hour and a half a day, that's not necessary. It is not necessary to exercise more than 30 minutes a day. The CDC still recommends 150 minutes of exercise per week for cardiovascular health. And so if you break that down, that would be five days of 30 minute sessions. However, you can break exercise down however you want. You can do 20 minutes one day, 40 minutes another day, whatever works for you. But just know that you don't have to be exercising an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, or multiple sessions a day that are extended periods of time for health reasons. And with that being said, I do want to say that if you want to break up your workouts, that is okay, where you do 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes in the afternoon or whatever works for you, that is okay. What I'm referring to is longer exercise sessions and feeling like you have to exercise multiple times a day in order to burn a larger number of calories. So to stop over exercising, slowly start decreasing the amount you might be exercising. Start asking yourself, why am I doing this? What is my overall goal? What is it that is making me feel like I have to exercise, you know, maybe one to two hours a day? What have I been telling myself around exercise? What kind of exercise do I enjoy? Do I enjoy exercise anymore? What kind of exercise would help decrease my burnout or get me excited to move my body again? So asking yourself some of those questions can really help. And I want to encourage you to move your body. It is very important to incorporate exercise in our everyday life. But when it becomes obsessive with very rigid rules where you feel guilty if you miss a workout or if you feel guilty that you ate more than you think you should have, and you feel like you have to burn that off in the gym, then it's time we reframe our thoughts around exercise because you don't need to be burning off everything you eat while you're working out every day. That is not the goal. The goal of exercise is overall health and well being.
Subscribe to my channel for more content on fitness, intuitive eating, and body image.